G'day everyone, Gooby here with another Torchlight SS5 video. I did a little bit of this on stream earlier. Um, Time Mark 7 boss killing. Uh, I didn't think that was going to be a thing, however, it definitely is. I got quite lucky earlier, so no doubt I will just lose all of my currency this time. Um, if you have a look at the Plane Watchers this season, the Time Mark 7 ones can drop the uh, skill stones. Uh, earlier, I had a Precise Fearless drop that sold for about 40 Flame Elementium. I had a Precise Energy Fortress drop uh, that is currently selling for about 700, hasn't sold yet. I had a Precise Elemental Resistance drop that sold for 1200 Flame Elementium rather quickly. Um, I had an Erosion Enhancement drop and a Precise Precise Projectiles. Now, the reason that I was doing it is I need a Warden's Breast Pin for my build. Uh, and until I get an instruction, I need a Your Minions Cannot Deal Physical Damage one. So I need the Warden's Breast Pin to drop. Then I need to corrode it into Cannot Deal Physical Damage, uh, which... Warden's Breast Pins, just base. If you're um, buying one, it is about 1500 Flame Elementium just for the item. So hopefully we can get another one or two of these to drop. I had one drop earlier. Um, and yeah, so this little test, the um, Star Shards that drop... Um, they cost 3 Flame Elementium each. I have 538 of them, which is 1,614 Flame Elementium for this test. Um, I'll be running it. I'll see if I can get a couple of um, precise skills uh, that counter that. Also, when you kill this, you get 2... Um, let me see. So I have six winding keys right now. You get two rank five beacons. Uh, so that recoups a little bit of the cost. Uh, each one is 36 flame elementium. Rank five beacons at the moment are um, eight to 10 flame elementium and the beginning. So the beginning costs They're 8 each, so it's basically 8, 16, 24 that you're getting back every time with the chance of getting a um, a precise skill. So basically a, an 8 flame elementium cost that you, if you don't get a precise skill uh, or the legendary that you are after, then you're just losing currency. Uh, you can do this for any of the zones. This is the most expensive zone because Warden's Breast Pin is ridiculous. Uh, and I'm trying to find one. So I will smash this out. We'll see how much of that 1600 Flame Elementium that we get back. And if I have a, um, a precise skill drop, I will pause the video and uh, or unpause the video and show you. Cheers. And there we go. We've already made our money back. We had another precise elemental res drop. Uh, that is actually insane. Uh, just to show off how much it uh, is worth. They're 1300 flame elementium each right now. I'll list that. It'll probably sell by the time uh, I've finished this video. Uh, but that is the second one of these that I've had um, today, which is actually mental um so i sold the other one for 1185 i'll sell this one for 1295 and uh see if it sells by the time i finish this so that's i'm just gonna put that down as a, a w i love how fast it is to do this as well uh there's no stuffing around there's no you know waiting for the the lava guy to spawn or whatever you just come in one shot the boss Grab your loot and leave, you know? It's great. <laughs> There's no way. There is no way. Oh, uh, we just had a second one drop. 
Jesus. Um, okay. So that's 2,600 play Melamentium in the last uh, about n seven minutes. Uh, let's put that one up for sale as well. Um, the other one hasn't sold yet. So there we go. Two of those. And just so you can so see the other one sold. Where is it? Yeah, so that's the other one that I had dropped today. So that's three precise elemental res that have dropped today. Um, I guess another benefit for doing this, obviously this is insane luck so far. Um, but if the price of these go up, that just benefits everyone that is, um, you know, doing T7 maps. So... If I make, you know, five or 10,000 from this, that'd be nuts, but I, I doubt I'll make that much. Acuteness imbue, I'm not sure what that's worth. Uh, have a quick look. Probably not much. Yeah, three. So you don't always win, but sometimes you do. There we go. We've got another Warden's Breast Pin. It is not priceless, so I can't sell it. Uh, however, it is a triple, so... When I am done with this, I'll be able to, um, well, I may as well ID it, because I can't sell it anyway, so it's not priceless. So there, I can't sell it. It's not level 100. Um, maybe I should be doing this with a um, tree that is all legendary. Might be worth doing. Um, so when I finish crafting this one, I will... Um, I've got two empty prefixes there, affixes, sorry. So I can get crit strike damage. I can upgrade that to tier one. Can't go to tier zero. So it's 30%, 2% crit strike damage plus crit strike damage, uh, there plus that. So then I can target on um, some prefixes of uh, intelligence and something. So intelligence is pretty good and probably strength. Uh, if I do strength and int, reforge, uh, tier two, I think that's what it, yeah, it's what it is anyway. So I'm glad I ran out then and whatever tier six would be. I've still got to corrode that. Uh, however, that is pretty sweet for right now. Um, I don't think the void chart affects this. I'll keep going for this test and I will uh, try it again, uh, no doubt, if it's making this much currency. I'll try it again um, with a void chart that's based around legendaries. Alrighty, we've got a priceless, priceless, precise fearless, words, hard, um, precise fearless is 170 flame elementium, not bad. Alrighty, we just got a second warden's breast pin, which is pretty cool. That's two chances at the corrosion. Alrighty, the very next one, we've got a Precise Steadfast, which is worth probably not much. Six Flame Elementium. Probably just keep that for when I use it later. And another Warden's Breast Pin. Pretty good. So if you just want a Warden's Breast Pin, I highly recommend doing it this way instead of paying, you know, 1500 for a precise, uh, a priceless one. Uh, precise elemental amplification, uh, that's probably not worth much. If it was elemental shock, then hell yeah. Okay, 240, not bad. And another breast pin. Not priceless, but that's fine. Another priceless fearless, uh, precise fearless, sorry. So another, what was that one, 170? Uh, pause. Uh, precise and nimbleness. Uh, don't see that being worth anything. One. Uh, 
And another one. <laughs> All the Warden's breast pins now. Alrighty, this is the lucky last one. And we got a Fiend Crown. That uh, is not precise. So, uh, priceless, rather. So I will... Uh, I got a little bit more drop than I thought, so let me chuck it into the spreadsheet and see how we went. Alrighty, everyone, everyone, this is a little bit crude, but this is what dropped. Uh, actually, that's not everything that dropped. Alrighty, so having a quick look at what we got. So we had two precise Ellie res drop, which is insanely lucky. We didn't have Energy Fortress or anything like that drop, though. Um, so getting five skills that were useful out of i think we had seven total didn't we so seven out of 45 you know every let's say every 10 sets you get a skill uh with a pretty reasonable chance to get a decent skill since they're all really expensive at the moment so 2266 after tax for the precise ellie res gonna pay 300 in tax for that but that is fine uh, Warden's Breast Pin, we had five of those drops, so that's five chances at a, well, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six chances at a, um, a good one that I can use. It's going to take a bit to craft that up, but that is fine. That is basically a saving uh, if I was to buy those and try on the trade house. Uh, that's 7,500 Flame Elementium minimum. That it would have cost to get those um, breast pins. None of them are um, priceless. So I guess the ones that you see that are priceless only drop from maps. I did end up changing my um, void tree midway through that. And it did not affect the legendaries at all. Um, which is rather disappointing that the ones from the plane watchers can't drop priceless it's a bit stupid um or they can because i had um i had something drop that showed a different border oh yeah i had this drop so the um the elemental sigh dropped um priceless but it's 5 fe so who cares really um, so anyway, all up, we had these beacons drop. We had 90 beacons drop because you get two per kill, uh, which equates for clawing back 727 flame elementium. Uh, that plus the winding keys that always drop is 885 flame elementium back, uh, guaranteed. Sorry, also the beginnings. So 1200 back. So this test effectively cost 400 Flame Elementium. Uh, and we got 2300 profit. Uh, that's including those, uh, obviously. Um, but the skills themselves, 2774, which is absolutely insane. Um, for, you know, that took... You saw how quick it was to kill the enemy. Uh, I guessed it was about 20 seconds at an extreme to load up another map and get in there. Uh, it was a little, bit, a little bit slower for me because I was waiting to see what dropped. Otherwise, you could just hold down A and just smash through it even faster. Uh, 9,000 flame helmetium an hour. If you uh, smashed out a whole bunch more, uh, I would need four times as much as what I had. Uh, so 16, 14 was the cost. You would need six and a half thousand flame elementium, um, you know, <laughs> investment, which is insane. Uh, I just put that in there for a little bit of a, uh, a shits and giggles. Uh, but we made 2,300 flame elementium profit for 15 minutes work. GG. I'll see you in the next video. Oops.